بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم and welcome back to another informative lesson of English subject for grade 2 uh, students uh, today we are going to start the exercise of the rainbow as you remember that we had finished the poem yesterday and uh, we had discussed all the important points and the new words in the poem and I hope that you have um, done your homework. So now it's the turn that you open your neat copies and start writing the questions answers. Here students I have written homework because you will do this task at home. Uh, write English we will not write grade 2 here, we will write date here, date, just like this. You will write the date on which you will receive this video. Now students, uh, in the first part of the exercise, we are going to answer the questions given in the exercise. So uh, let's get started. Write part A. And then write the first question of part A. Answer the following questions. Answer the following question. Let's move on to the first part. Which is, where do boards sail? Where do boards sail? Now, it's a very easy question. Where do boards sail? Where do boards sail? Who will tell me? It's very easy. Very good. Boards sail on the rivers. Boards sail on the river. It was the first line of your poem. Boards sail on the rivers. Ships sail on the seas. Boards sail on the rivers. Boats sail on the rivers. Your answers should start with capital B and it should end up with a full stop. Boats sail on the rivers. Now let's move on with the next question which is where do ships sail? Where do ships sail? Another very easy question. Where do ships sail? Where do ships sail? Where do ships sail? Very good. The answer for this question is ships sail on the seas. Ships sail on the seas. Now here these are ships. So we are going to use Plural S with the C's also. Ships sails, sail on the seas. For the third question, we will move on to the next page. Just as I have done. Now that page was finished. So we moved on to the next page. On the next page, you will not write unit number and unit name again. We will just start the question directly. So what is our next question? It is... What sails across the sky? What sails across the sky? Who will tell me? So this is the question. What sails across the sky? Very good. This is very easy to answer because you have to just answer what? What? Clouds sail across the sky clouds say across the sky if we use s here we will not use s here so this s came to the clouds so it remain alone it is it is alone now clouds say across the sky clouds say across the sky now let's move on to the next question which is what are the two prettiest things in the
the poem what are the two prettiest things in the poem now in the last stanza if you remember that they had used the word prettier far than these means they were prettiest things now do you remember what was mentioned in that stanza okay stanza is the paragraph of a poem stanza is the paragraph of a poem in story we have other paragraphs and in stanza we, uh, we have uh, fixed line patterns we have same length of lines so they are called stanzas what are the two prettiest things in the poem okay the first prettier thing was clouds which was prettier than the ships and the boats and the second prettiest thing was the rainbow which was prettier than the any bridge in the world so the two things which were prettiest in the poems were clouds and rainbow clouds and rainbow clouds and rainbow are the two prettiest of oh, prettiest things in the poem the cl clouds and rainbow are the two prettiest things in the poem now in the in this question you have to answer what answer of what is clouds and rainbow are the two prettiest things in the poem now some students think that it is a long question it is a difficult question so it is not a difficult question because you just have to answer what and you will write the remaining question words in your answer the answer for what is clouds and rainbow are the two prettiest things in the poem now you can see that the page is finished again so we will move on to the next page for the next two questions this is the next question uh, what is another name for the bow that bridges heaven what is another name for the bow that bridges heaven now what was the other name for that bow very good rainbow 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 is another name for the bow that bridges heaven rainbow answer of what rainbow is another name for the bow that bridges heaven rainbow is another name for the bow that bridges heaven now it's the turn of the last question to be answered and the question is is there a difference between a boat and a ship find out now you think over what is the difference between a ship and a boat and i'll write the question on board now what is the difference between a ship and a boat what is the difference between a ship and a boat the one main difference between the ship and a boat is a ship is very big it has a large capacity to accommodate a lot of travelers into it so ship is very big it has lots of rooms inside it and it gives you like a home like environment so ship is big and a boat is very small it is usually made of wood okay ship runs on engine ships run on engines but boats usually don't have engine now there are some modern some latest 
versions of boards which are which have engines but they still they are very small so their size is the main difference ships are very big boards are very small ships uh, are like the most facilitated kind of boat and uh, boats are just boats they just help you go from one place to another place but they are not giving you any facilities of home bed and food and everything so uh, these are the major differences between ship and boat one ship is big boat is small ship runs on engine boat doesn't have an engine ship can accommodate a lot of passenger it can carry a lot of travelers but boat can accommodate only a few people ship is faster boat is slower so but for you i'm going to make the answer very easy we will not write all these differences we will just write one difference and that is the ship is very big and the boat is very small okay this was all for today this is your classwork as well as your homework you have uh, you have to write all these uh, questions in your neat copies and uh, you will send them on whatsapp uh, one more thing that i want to tell you that be careful about the spellings that be very precise about them that in how many lines you have to write as, uh, an alphabet be very careful about your handwriting and spellings don't make any mistakes and draw finishing line at the end of every question as i did and um, and try not to fit in a lot of words in one uh, line if your line can accommodate only four or five words don't try to fit in the remaining word okay so your work should look neat and uh, tidy and don't try to fit more and more words in one line try to give enough space in between the words there should be enough space in between the words and if it doesn't complete in one line you can move on to the next line if it doesn't fit into one line you can move into the next line but don't make mess in your notebooks okay this was all for today i hope you learned and enjoyed uh, wish you best of luck have a nice day this was all for today allah hafiz allahum anfa'na bima 'allamtana wa 'allimna ma yanfa'una wa zidna 'ilma